Hey everybody, Skyward Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. In the last episode, we completed the second section of the Pharaoh's Lighthouse after killing the Slit. That's what his name was. Yeah, actually, I remember the name. You always remember the name of a boss that kills you. Like, that gets you a second game over. Like, wow, we're, we're down to two now. Hopefully that'll be the last one, but if we get one more, uh, well, we get one more. Anyway, this time we're going to be moving on to Section 3. And we all know how much I love Section 3. Ooh. I don't know why, but my voice... My voice sounds weird right now. Not like in how I'm speaking, but more of like, uh... How I'm hearing it come out. But oh well. We shall ignore it. We shall ignore it. So yeah, this time we're doing Section 3. Yay! We got the Holy Lance with us, the Save the Queen on our side. We're all ready. All ready to go. We're moving on to the next section. Yay, I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine if you repeat yourself sometimes, because this dungeon is hours long, and we have to... I can't, like, skip around. I have to show off every little bit of it. Not 100% of it, but, like... Everything I know about it. Last time I told my story. Now I gotta think of stuff to talk about as we continue to climb more of this place. I have an idea. Uh, we can talk about how based Vaughn is. How Vaughn would be all for propaganda. Okay, I don't know. So Joe, calm down. Now I wanna look around here because I swear one of these sections there is actually like a chest over here. Hey! 65 gil, not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh. 96 gil. Ooh. Ooh. I wanna I wanna move things along real quick. I wanna move on already, so I'm just gonna speed run around here, see if there's anything noteworthy to look at. Anything to see. Anything to do. Doesn't look like it, but I believe there might be an elemental enemy around here. After the full, I don't know, it could be wrong. Probably, it's probably nowhere here. Anyway, we killed the boss. We're gonna go on the waste stone. We're gonna go forward to section three. Yay! Woo! You know things are crazy when we get to the second of the second ascent. And we're on the reach of the diamond law. That's when you know things are crazy. Anyway, we got some text. Ignorant child of ignorance of fa a feared. Rare is the power that can bind. Here alone such magics work. Neath a mingling of crisp drawn waters and deifacted de jewels. You who reach but cannot grasp in failure ever to wander. Be well prepared for what is to come. The writings heed. To your materials be true, ere among the four you choose. What does this mean? Why, it's quite simple, fellas. In order to move on, we have four ways to go. We have four directions. I know you can't see because we don't have the map, but we have four directions that we can choose from to go through. And short and simple terms, by the use of a black orb, we are essentially putting a hindrance on ourselves for this entire section. Maybe not all of it, but for just getting to the boss. Up to the boss, we're getting rid of, uh, uh, entire, like, one of our abilities. Uh, here's a save crystal in case you need it. I don't really need it. So, for example, if I go to this pillar, he also bears a time-worn inscription. Here, make your, make of your steel an offering. Hone sharp in days before man's dawn. Surrender it. Only then the path tread. I believe this means that you cannot use physical attacks at all. So, if you're a team full of magic users, then, uh, that's the path you want to go down. You don't have to go through all four, you just have to choose one. And one of them is like the easiest. Here make of your wealth an offering. Board it in starchless avarice. Surrender it. Only then the path to tread. You lose your money if you go this way. I think you do get it back. But uh... The only hindrance I can think of for that one is uh, Gil Toss. But the one I go down I believe is this one over here. Here make of your knowledge an offering. Gleaned for gleaning's sake. Surrender it, only then the path to tread. That is essentially... It takes away your mini-map. And I think the last one... 
is over here. This is the last one. Final path. Uh, make here make of your magics an offering, accorded man by his betters. Surrender them. Only them with a path to tread. Uh, here you're getting rid of all your spells like fire, black magic, white magic, time magic, green magic. Um, the path I'm gonna go is the one where you get rid of your knowledge. By activating this one, um, what you essentially do is, like I said, you lose your map, but the reason this one's probably like the least harmless is because... It's because... Hey, look, doors open. Yay! Knowledge avails me not. It's because we can still use our regular map. It's just that we don't have a mini-map anymore. So now we have to tread all this ground without it, which is fine. It's just now you're just going to see me pull up the map a whole lot, which, I mean, I was doing that to begin with regardless, so... It's not a huge deal. It ain't too bad. But hey, we got more text. Yay! Rare souls who a coast, tower, and sky. You alone binding magic stir. You who shun sex t whoa, whoa, game, slow down there. And compass, fear not the darkness, you must walk. Companions at your side, into unknown pass. My voice sounds funky, and I don't know why. I mean, I did just drink tea. I don't know if that's it, though. Because I drink tea all the time. Because tea is delicious. Sweet tea in particular is like my jam, you know. Unsweet tea, I gotta get in the mood for it. I haven't really tried any other types of tea. I've heard people praise the Arizona tea, I think. Might have been that. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, essentially what we're doing is we're kind of going through... Uh, where? Where is he? Where's the Batman? Oh, the, oh, we have bad people. Two corners. Two ways to Sunday. Uh, we have uh, a Crusader. A Crusader. I want to say you guys were in Nabu I want to say. Maybe, possibly. Uh, Redis' target was too far away. I'm not sure what kind of shenanigans Redis is getting into. But, uh... Surely it must be bad. And these things can, uh... They can dodge. Redis, what you doing? What you doing over there? No, Redis! I mean, you're doing fine on your own, to be fair, but... Dude, if we didn't show up at that point, you would have been screwed because the second guy was coming over to check on his buddy. You would have been so dead. Uh, you are also a crusader. Ooh. No, Ash, you're dead. No! It's okay, Redis has a rise, though, so it's all good. We all good. Now, because of uh, the way this is laid out, uh, we're not going to be exploring all of this. Because that would just take too much time. Essentially, uh, the way it works is there's going to be two corners, or there's four corners to explore, and we can go, and only one way actually leads, like, upwards, so what we have to do is we have to look for it. I could cheat this and just look up, a cl uh, like, a full map of this place to make it easier, but, uh, who wants to do that? That's, like, ruining the fun. I never needed it anyway. It's not too hard. This part of, again, I consider the second, the, the second section that we just went through last episode... I consider that to be the hardest part of the place. Because once you get that, past that, minus another troubling boss fight in the future, um, that's the only troubling part. Uh, here we have a boon. Big buff guy. Ain't, ain't no trouble. He ain't no issue at all. Hey, we found the stairs. We found the stairs. Yeah, I want to say there's five floors of this, I think. Now, we got lucky. We chose a corner where, thankfully, the stairs were in the same section. Uh, it's not going to be like that always. So, like, uh, this floor, I believe, it might be in, like, a different, a different, uh, different corner. So, yeah. Uh, arguably, if you don't get rid of the map, you could still... Well, even... Yeah, we don't have... We haven't found an urn yet. Oh, great. Koopa Quick is on Xenoblade Chronicles. Why does he always show up? <laughs> I make it sound like I hate my friend. No, I don't. I don't hate him at all. I don't know why anyone would ever think that that will never be the case. I love all my friends. They're great people. Great buddies. Known them for years. Uh, but, uh, 
what I was gonna ask is like, why do they show up always around the same time? Like I play at night, it's about to be, it's about to be, it's getting close to midnight, and I'm like, I can understand maybe playing like at nine or ten. If this was like nine or ten, I was recording at, then yeah, I can understand that. But about to be midnight. I mean, I understand it's the weekend. I'm recording this on a Friday night, especially since there's only uh, one more week left of school yet left, which is like finals week. A zoo space. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, ooh, that is way better than what I have. Screw that chaos base I never bought. Ooh. I mean, Astro not really much for attacking, but at least now you can pack a punch a little bit. Ain't it lovely? Hey, foot's facade. I, I caught you. I I sure caught them. I caught them real good. I caught them down bad. Oh no, the Crusaders. The Crusaders? No, the Crusaders are coming around. This ain't the last crusade. No, oh, red ass, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, god dang. You guys are a little bit dangerous. Kind of scary. Okay, at least one of them is dead. Thank god. Come on. Come on, we need our, we need our top team here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's done. That's how it's always been dumb. Dumb? I don't know, I confuse myself with my manner of speech sometimes. Kind of freaks me out. Uh, hello, buddy. We have traps here. A reaver. I, I warned about traps and... Yeah, I don't even think we've seen them too much. Ouch. Cat hot. That hurt me. No, Vaughn, don't do it! I can control you at least. I can prevent you from stepping in the traps. The the traps of evil. Oh. Oh no, Crusader number H. Number H? What am I I can I, I I'm just a I would say I'm a mess. No, not the Smite of Rage! Anything but the Smite of Rage! We're dead. We're dead. It's over. As soon as he yanks out that Smite of Rage, we're all done. Like, we're doomed. Uh, okay, where are we? We're right here. So yeah, for this section, we're just gonna take things as they come. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing in particular I want to like, go out of my way and grab. Uh, I just was, I was just checking here. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to fight the Crusader. Since, you know, the Crusader wants to show up all of a sudden. Hey, Redis, you're now level 45. You think you can get to level 46 by the time we're done with this place? That wasn't a question. That was a request. Actually, no, that was a command. I was commanding you to Grow level, grow level, but it looks like our stairs. No, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna check what's in this little corner over here. Nothing. There's nothing. But yeah, in this section, there's nothing really worthwhile to get. I mean, I got the zoo space, which is nice. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. At least I got something out of it. Now you guys can't say like, man, nothing happened. Oh well, yeah, something did happen. Your face happened. Oh yeah, shots, shots fired. Shots were fired that day, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, Reaper. You can't handle this. Ain't no way. You telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Uh, who leveled up? Ball fear. Ball fear leveled up to forty-one. That is nice. I'm gonna get Boshi to up in this joint. You tell me a blunt force this trauma? Anything else that's kind of like that? You think a Final Fantasy did this 12? That's not good. That doesn't work. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. The science doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. 
Alright, where are we? We have two ways to go. I'm feeling this way. Oh yeah, I got a good feeling about this. You can tell because it's a Crusader. And we all know how much I love Crusaders. Oh boy, Crusaders. And we got a Reaver. I gotta say, uh, one of the things I recommend, I'd say kill everything you in the world here, because uh, the loot that you can get here, which is why I recommend, like, if you can't afford a Grimmar, uh, get a Grimmar, because, uh, the items here can make you some serious bank. Uh, right when she was about to cast Kiraja. This isn't good. No, Bonnie Poo, he's dead. Oh, we're all dying. That's awful. Yikes, these guys are tough. I mean, we're getting them, don't get me wrong, but like, they can cause some serious damage if they're not careful. Or if they're not careful, if I'm not careful. Cause tremors, uh, a good hit about tremors, which are pretty powerful earth attacks. Uh, if you want to avoid tremors, I recommend casting float. I do not think we have float, unfortunately, but uh... I mean, we may have some float motes, but, uh, float is, it just raises you off the ground, so, uh, if you want to, uh, make their tremor, oh god, make their tremor moves absolutely worthless, then I recommend you use float. Um, does Ash have, like, float or something like that? I'm curious. I don't know if it's a different kind of spell or not. Silence and Aqua. Balance the table, vanish, reflect. I guess not. Oh well. Uh, let's go back to Vaughn for a moment. I'll play as Bosch in a minute because... Yeah, no. Level up. Alright, I leveled up. Um... Oh, it, it ends at a, at a dead end. Does that mean there's treasure? Oh, there is treasure. Ooh. An X potion. Don't mind if I do. I don't mind X potions. I think Kiraj is better, but if I'm in a pinch and I really need to pop a potion, like really bad, I'll. That's pretty good for that. A uh, hello, Abaddon's. I think we could have encountered you earlier in this section, but I just never went out to the circle. Well, I'm here to change that. We're going to the circle. We're going into the circle. I forget how many floors this section is. I want to say, like, five? Because I remember this one not being too overly long. Like, not too, or too terribly long, I should say. I remember this one being hard. Yeah, the longest section is the second one, which is the last episode one. Everything else can be completed rather quickly. Like, it'll take, like, at least, like, half an hour still, but, like, it won't be, like, an hour like last time. Oh, man. Oh. A sash. Ooh. Alright, well, I won't waste my time in this corner. Because, uh, clearly there's nothing here. If the map is anything to go by, there is nothing here. Prepare to die. I forgot your name. Reaver. Your time is nigh. I can come up with the theory of why maybe I sound different. Or a little bit clearer, I should say. Because I got a haircut and now my hair is like a lot shorter. Not too short where it's like I'm like balding or anything like that. Not that I was balding to begin with, but more of like... It's still long, but it no longer like covers my my uh, my ears. Uh, this is the way we want to go. But first, I'm going to go over here. Aw, lame. You don't got no treasure. What the heck, bro? That is not cool. Oh, I'm gonna have to go the long way. Oh well, extra experience never hurt anybody. That's my motto. Hey, buddy! Necrofiend! Hey! You remind me. <coughs> oh, man. That shit looked like the Ari Fiend. Or the Ari Man, actually. Oh god. Oh, my nose. My nose acted funky for a moment. 
Oh, wow. Door can't be open on that side. I guess I'm gonna have to go the other way. Cheese game. Thanks. So it turns out I was heading the right way the whole time. Uh oh. Cast the case. Can't have that. No sirree. Ouch. Actually, that wasn't that bad. No, it's nice. It's nice to play a floor or a section where enemies are constant, not like constantly chucking statuses at you. That's nice, you know. You really need to reprieve from that sometimes, you know. Like sometimes, sometimes you just need a break. You just need a break from all of it, you know. You see, you say sometimes you just need to stop and say, "Hey." No more. No more. Uh oh. Uh, can I kill you, please? Okay, I killed you. Awesome. At least the, the ghost man, he, he ain't so bad. Hey, Bond, you're level 41 now? That's nice. I'm gonna have to switch in Fran. Which is quite alright with me, because Fran is awesome. She is cool. She can poison enemies, like, real good. She even poisoned a couple boss fights. It was insane. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely bonkers. Uh, anything wacky in here? Hello? 134 gil. That's not bad. In fact, I'd say in terms of gil, that's pretty good. Like that, I mean, it's the bare minimum. Whoa, what are you? The zombie warlock. Hello, I... I was gonna make a joke about the zombie warlock and call him the Twisted Wizard, but I guess I'm not gonna make that joke anymore because he's dead. Poor zombie warlock. We hardly knew ye. Whoa, Ash is running low on MP, like really bad. No, the sandstorm hit only Fran and no one else. That makes me sad. Uh, you know what, Ash? Why don't you pop an ether? Why don't you pop an ether? Just get some extra, extra stuff. I don't like this. Boons. I mean, you guys aren't bad, but well, Redis being smart. I rest my case. Redis is a freaking dummy. At least the boons aren't that bad. They aren't the worst things out there. Actually, Redis, for the sake of the Lord, use a rise on Ash, please. Hi. Once we get a rise going on Ash, like then. Naruto going on Fortnite. There he goes. Having fun. Yo, that shield block freaking saved our lives, ladies and gentlemen. You can't fake that. You can't fake that. No! I was making a jo I, I was complimenting you about saying no no status effects and here you are casting disable on me. What's wrong with you? Explain yourself. Like what the heck, bro? Like that ain't that that's that just ain't right. Come on, arise Ash at least. They ain't talking they ain't targeting Bash who is freaking on the verge of death. He was on the verge of death, and no, he didn't, he didn't care. As soon as Bosch gets, uh, undisabled, uh, you're all... Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is great. Wait, 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 I'm undisabled. We're free. You're dead. Yeah, I was right, they are dead. Come on, one more hit. One more hit! One more hit! Ah, oh. No! Please! Uh, shoots. Well, let's get the ragtag people out here to finish the job. Oh, lag. The straw. All right. Just Phoenix down, Redis. Fidel, you got your screen time. Hope you're proud of yourself. Um, let's get two people out here. Just 
get the Arise going. And I want to get out of here. Ah, uh, she's casting, she's casting Kiraja. Even though I don't need it. At least Bosch is back in the game. Let's get Fran up in this joint. We need your magic, Redis. It got really bad. Alright, now let's just continue normally. All just to get to the stairs, ladies and gentlemen. All because I wanted to get to... I bet if it wasn't for that trap, we would have been fine. That's what really set things... Set us up for, uh, for disaster. It was really just the traps and great. Now the procedure is here. And also the disable. The disable wasn't helping either. Other than that, we were fine. Back Bosch, like, soloed one of them. It was insane. Oh, stop casting the sandstorm. Thank God I blocked it. Like a freaking god. Just how your average person would handle the situation. Ash is now level 42. Let's get Balthier up in this joint. Go turn your Kira back on, Fran. I mean, it only gets harder from up here, so I'm like, I'll be in. No one said it was going to be easy. We're like halfway through this place now. Floor 63. We're getting there. We're going up the ranks. If something tells me there's a beast right behind this door. Yep. The ones that cast the sable, of course. Because it wouldn't be... Well, there's no trap to set us off on a bad... Um... Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, two out of four ain't bad. At least Ball Fear and Redis can handle it. And Fran serves as the bait? She could serve as good bait. Or she served as good bait, actually. Alright, on the floor 64. Super Mario 64! Is it me, Mario? That's not a good Mario impression. In fact, it's a bad one. What is up with me? Um, I want it. Reach of the Damned. No, they swore in the freaking... They swore in the name of the location, guys. We're freaking dead. We're dead, guys. They said damned. What's that damn fourth chaos symbol? Okay, we're getting text. I think we're actually at the end of this section. Wow. Ancient letters hanging in a golden, awful glint goal we glow with random words. Ignorant child, blessed with life on clay below. All that lived and ever shall are nothing are, are as nothing before the undying. Wise words. Wise, wise words. Yep, save crystal. Okay, we are getting to the end then. Wow. Oh wow. Uh, level me up. Okay, this floor is the one that has the guy, the little elemental enemy, on about. He's harmless, but he's he's there. I think. Don't hold me on this. Never hold me on this. Now I'm trying to remember where when we get our map back. And because we're at the end of the section, I know exactly what's coming up next. You know what that means. It's time to get our usual... It's time for the theme song, Larry. Larry. Prepare the theme song. Hey, I was right. It was only going to take us half an hour. I mean, there's the boss to consider, but still. Um, it all went exactly as I hoped. Uh, I did explore everything, right? Pretty sure I did. Alright, buddy. Ignorant child crawling through life on clay below. All that left... And ever shall by Gero Vegan's grace to prosper now and forever. Well, j golly gee. Don't be that way, game. I worked hard to get up here. Do you know how hard I worked to get up here? Very hard. Quite hard indeed. Floor 65. Ooh. 
Nice. Oh, wow. Uh, you gonna give me some items? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. A uh, Miramase. That's a pretty good weapon. Not as good as what I have, but... Probably the best katana you're gonna get by endgame standards. So, if you don't like, uh... The chance rate on the freaking great axe that I'd say for six less attack that's actually pretty good a fair trade how much LP we said in that 300 ooh read inscription ahead the watcher waits third of three ye who crave wealth return whence you came open the door open the door Ladies and gentlemen, meet your first enemy, the furry! Nah, it's Ken I'm kidding, it's the Fenrir. This guy is the middle ground between all three trials. He's not hard, but he's not too easy either. This guy, he's... He ain't no trouble at all, really. As long as you're you're keeping it up to speed, uh, he ain't no problem at all. You just gotta watch out. He, he does hit for a lot, though. He's... He's kind of like all bark, no bite. Not really. Ice break. Ouchy, ouch. Oh, look at that combo, though. He's, uh, he's beefy, though. I'll give him that. He's a beefy man. But other than that, he doesn't really have anything too crazy to look out for. He might be weak. He has protect on himself. Um. Ash, do you have anything at all? You do have the Spellga. Might be a risk, but I don't know. It might be worth a shot. For funsies. If we can remove that stuff from you. Uh, Redis, you can use a rise to get her up. I hope that didn't be... That wasn't my... My downfall. Because that would suck. I hope it's not my downfall. Uh, so we removed the haste and we removed the, uh... The protected head on itself, which is nice. That's a strategy for it, if you want to make this fight go back quicker. Yeah, because other than that, he ain't too crazy. Whale? Where's the whale? Uh, he can cast all sorts of statuses. Like, he can cast silence on boss, but doesn't do anything. But he can cast blind on Ash, which, you know, kind of slows us down a little bit. He can also cast bravery on himself, which is kind of bad. Although I never really understood what bravery did. Hey, no problem. No, Ash, you're dead. Wait. No, we're fine. All you need to do is cast a rise. Um, Redis, I mean, you're blind. You can't really hit too much. Uh oh. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Yo, chill. 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 Slow down. Yes, Vaughn, drink out of your sack. Yeah, honestly, like I said, not a hard fight. Fight. If you can get past the slit, you're good. Honestly, you're in, you're in the for the home run, which is nice. Very very nice. Quick and easy fight. Nothing too challenging. We got it done. We got it done. All right. Well, don't waste it, Redis. I'm gonna go to the save point. Get it back. Get it all back. Because we're going to end things off, ladies and gentlemen. Because that's the end of Section 3. I could move on to Section 4, but man, I want to save. And I'm not sure when the next save point is going to be. So, we're going to call it quits here. So, I'm going to run back to the save point. I'm pretty sure we'll get our map by the next floor, actually. I think there's going to be uh, the little thingamabobbers. We'll get our 
map back, but just in case, I'm gonna double check to see if we have to get it from like this floor, like right by the save crystal. Doesn't look like it. But hey, we finished the third section of the Pharaoh's Lighthouse, which is nice. We're getting closer and closer to reaching the top. I know 64, 65 floors still seems like we have quite a ways to go. But trust me, the next section is kind of like this one. It's like, it gets over with pretty fast. It's nothing crazy. But still, you don't have to go through like 100 floors of this place. I think about like 50 or 60 of them. But uh, we're making great progress. So, next time on Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, it's time for Section 4. See you guys then.